Hi everybody. Today I have some updates and new features, but first of all, I hoped for a new feature in Reaper for not me having to make it myself, and they did it. Let me explain it like that. If I turn on a tone generator, you see I have a tone here at what is it, 5 kilohertz or something. And if I then turn on some channel, you see an overtone structure and unwanted aliasing effects down to 300 hertz. And that's not what it should be like, because um, the fundamental tone should be the lowest um, frequency in the range. So now we have the option to right click the plugin and choose effects instance oversampling. And if I change maybe um, this uh, option here, it won't change because <laughs> if you notice that it says requires start stop. So if I play play and stop, you see the alias effects are much less. So if I put that to the next higher mode, press play again. The alias effects are all gone. So uh, an anti-aliasing for the plugins that have a um, saturation or a kind of distortion or overtone or how you want to call it um, is now done that we have no kickbacks because of alias effects. This instance of uh, some channel now takes 1% um, of my CPU. Um, if I switch that back to no oversampling, you see it costs much less CPU. That's normal because oversampling costs CPU. And that is why I recommend that you don't choose uh, chain oversampling, at least for my plugins. Uh, just oversample the plugins um, where you um, experience to have uh, aliasing effects that are audible. So now let's get to the updates and fixes I made. Um, there's a new version of the um, SUM channel, which you could recognize by the blue bug fix number 4, version 1.4. And um, these are some minor bug fixes um, you don't have to bother about. And um, we had this problem that you see so many knobs here. And if I go to another mode, here is a knob that is not here in this mode. And if you clicked in the older version and dragged here in the empty area, you had ghost readouts. These readouts um, that tell you what you um, what value you have. And this is fixed now. I hope I caught them all. And as this plugin is the first with um, automation support from my plugin suite, I completely relabeled the um, parameter list. So um, you now see um, these are all labeled correctly in a way that I hope you understand. And um, if the parameters are not uh, meant to be automated, I always told don't. If you're confused what it means that it's um, unused question mark, that is because my programming is quite chaotic. So there might be some parameters that had a function once and then uh, I replaced them with um, some other uh, program code and um, I'm not so sure if they are unused. Um, I'll check that, remove them later if necessary. So let's get over to the um, reverb units. There are some news. Uh, the Lexicon uh, 1, if you uh, would say so, <laughs> that's just Lexicon, um, 
has a mode for white text. So um, that's how we know it, it's all red. And um, one user told me that he can't see red or green colors so good. And I said, well, that's um, really a point. So I made an option for white text and for white LEDs in the input and output meters. And you can activate that simply by um, Alt clicking this lower um, display panel. Another new thing is um, that I replaced the um, background graphics. Um, you probably won't notice that. It's a detail. Um, what annoyed me was um, that this um, thing, this display uh, at the top of the plugin is actually at an angle to the rest of the plugin. And now I made it a bit bigger, the display, and put that into an angle. So um, it uh, is a bit uh, not so wide at the bottom as at the top. So let's get over to uh, the other Lexicon plugin. Um, there's a new feature because there was always a chorus effect on the reverb tail. So it sounded like this. And now you can click the X of the lexicon. And as you see, it gets a bit lighter here, the blue area. And that switches off the chorus effect. Especially for um, guitars uh, or things like that, um, you want to switch off that chorus effect. I know that um, these new features, especially these hidden features, um, are hard to memorize. So I will um, in future, not yet, but in future, I will do that. Um, if you I think uh, if you hover the um, Tukan logo, an info box will appear what you can do with a plugin and where the hidden features are. Let's get to another um, very small bug fix. And this is um, if you use the delay machine, um, you can put that to a uh, time sync mode and um, the times are calculated by that. It has a maximum uh, delay of three seconds. So if your um, one bar is over three seconds or one bar dotted is over three seconds, it will always get stuck to three seconds so the delays can be calculated correctly um, at least for three seconds. It won't uh, calculate um, the things you um, put on the um, time sync if you're over um, three seconds. And the last plugin that can be updated is the Peak Needle 2. There were problems with Retina support for um, Apple computers and I hope that is fixed now. Another problem was um, if you put that to um, TCP or MCP mode um, and you had a very, um, very small area for the, um, for the needle, uh, a second ghost needle appeared at the bottom. I hope um, that is gone now. I should have fixed that. And we have a new feature here and that is independent um, needle from uh, numbers. So now you can hold Alt and click on any of the buttons and the yellow LED will indicate which numbers are displayed and the red LED will indicate what the needle is doing. So if you don't uh, press Alt and choose uh, one of these options, that's what the needle will do. And if you press Alt, that's what the, um, the numbers will do. But there's one exception and that is um, the true peak calculation. So you always have to choose between peak or true peak. So you can activate true peak by just clicking it or alt clicking it, that doesn't matter. And um, then the true peak will be calculated. So if you choose uh, maybe a stereo needle um, 
in uh, in peak uh, meter mode, um, then you can just uh, use the numbers in peak meter mode as well. So there is no alt click and deactivate that only for the numbers. So um, this button is always on or off. I hope you like the new features, I hope you like the fixes, I hope you like the oversampling option. And as always, have fun with the plugins and bye bye.